Today's review is on the Family Guy Passenger Fatty 7 episode. Before the episode, Family Guy took the time out to honor Carrie Fisher, as is said in loving memory of Carrie Fisher, born 1956, died in 2016. God bless you, Carrie, and your mother. In the episode, Quagmire invites Peter, Cleveland, and Joe on a trip to San Francisco. There was this X-Men joke where, no surprise, Joe was the guy in the wheelchair, Professor Charles Xavier. Even Joe wasn't surprised. You got that right, Joe. You shouldn't be surprised. You're the wheelchair guy, once again, like you always have and always will, so deal with it! Once the guys get to San Fran, they get lesbian haircuts, eat chocolate ice cream and drink milkshakes, go skating except for Joe since he's in a wheelchair, then take a look at the Golden Gate Bridge. That bridge makes you think of Full House, doesn't it? Peter all of a sudden pops out of nowhere saying that they were gay jokes the whole time so now they could get back to business. Peter meets NBA superstar Stephen Curry of the Golden State Warriors, asking Steph if he could sit on his lap at the next press conference. That moment was so funny. It sealed the deal for this episode. Whoever came up with this was a genius. This was just freaking genius. If anyone recalls Stephen Curry's daughter Riley at times interrupting him during his press conferences, well, that's what Peter did as the man-child he is, calling Steph dad and saying he duped, <laughs> which obviously means he took a crap in his pants. Picking up the mic as Steph takes it away from him, Peter points out a fat lady and telling Steph to make her go. Steph says, yes, I, I see her, Peter, but that's not how we talk to people. Leading the fat lady to voluntarily leave and Peter celebrates by <laughs> learning bad lessons. Peter, you funny son of a gun. With their trip from San Francisco being over, Quagmire invites the guys back to his hot pit, but angrily kicks them out after questioning Quagmire that flying isn't as hard as he thinks it is. It was an awesome payback for Peter to leave a fart in the cockpit before Quagmire kicked him, Cleveland, and Joe out. Quagmire, of course, can't stand the stench. All of a sudden, there are hijackers on the plane, and everyone is in trouble. As Peter is held hostage, Cleveland and Joe slip away to the cargo hold to locate a gun in Joe's bag. Another funny classic moment flashbacking to a remake of Inside Out. Chris is joy, Meg is sadness, Stewie is anger, Lois is disgust, and Peter is poo? What? The little girl had to go use the bathroom. Peter as Pooh, that was just <laughs> randomly funny. Lois is afraid of what hers, Donna's, Bonnie's, and Ida's own lives would be without the guys. As they watched the news, worried about them. And apparently they would end up like the Golden Girls, aka the Quahog Girls. I was dying hearing Lois sing the Golden Girls theme song with that nasally voice of hers. We have Lois as Dorothy, Bonnie as Rose, Donna obviously as Blanche, and Ida as Sophia. Stewie wants Peter to die to make the Quahog Girls happen. At the end of the day, the guys kick butt, got rid of the hijackers, and Quagmire saved the day by showing his playing skills. So this has been a review on the Passenger Fatty 7 episode. I give it a 10 out of 10. Such a funny episode. And the way Quagmire was making sure that everybody wasn't going to die. Peter made the episode even funnier. Not to mention Peter outsmarting Lois to take a taxi cab rushing his pals before it's too late. I mean Quagmire was in the middle of a shower for crying out loud. So tell me your thoughts on the episode. Did you laugh your ass off when Peter was at the press conference with Stephen Curry, Lois singing the Golden Girls theme song, the Inside Out remake with Peter saying he's poo, <laughs> and when he left a, a fart in Quagmire's cockpit? Let me know. All right, see ya.